Hi kid and welcome to Dia de los Muertos! Should I be scared? No! No, there's no reason for you to be scared. You should be very scared. No, no, you should not be scared. But it says Muertos and if my Spanish is correct, that means dead. It's day of dead. Day of death? Day of death! <laughs> yes, death, 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 death! <laughs> no, 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 no. Do not listen to Maleficent. You know how she likes to scare you. Yes, she really does. The Dia de los Muertos is a traditional day, falls right around Halloween, when we celebrate those who have passed on. Oh, like they died? Yes, you know, people are born. Yes. And then sometimes they die. Yes. And this is a happy way. This is happy because I'm getting kind of sad. No, no, no. Do not get sad. You should be very sad and upset. Do not listen to her. I, I think I should maybe listen to her. No, no, you should never listen to Maleficent. No, no. You're right. You're right. But my emotions are running away with me a little bit. But, well, okay, you know what? Let's read the book so you can see how this is really a way to honor with music and food and photos and a good way of always loving the people who have been important in our lives even if they're not here physically with us anymore. Oh, I, I kind of like the sound of that. Okay, shall we begin? All right, Dia de los Muertos. Okay, the skulls. Anytime you see a Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead, uh, you know, party mention, you see the skulls. It's kind of a fun thing though, right? It's not ugly skulls. They're always fun and, and decorated and it's very colorful. And you can see this is a big book, so. Pay close attention, here we go. It's Dia de los Muertos, the sun's coming down, as niños prepare in each pueblo and town. For today, we will honor our dearly departed with celebraciones. It's time to get started. Woo, woo. Celebraciones, that's a great word because it sounds just like celebrations. It's easy to learn Spanish when they're so close that way. Let's see, we got some, some folks are hugging over here and she's smelling the flowers and he's like, hey! And she's like, what a beautiful day. And then this one baked some bread. Oh, and I don't know if you could see it in the picture, but there's a little skull in the bread right there in honor of the day and then he's sweeping up gonna get the party started all right at home we've adorned our altares with care they're heaped with recuerdos and good things to share oh i'm gonna have to start teaching you some spanish on this book oh, 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 oh. red bear you know i i i learned spanish from my abuela yes yes can i help of course. Uh, do you want to translate? <laughs> okay. Altares means altars, like that. Like you might have one in church, you could put a little one up in your house, and then when they're heaped with recuerdos, it means it's reminders, like, uh, like photos, or maybe like their special comb. Like over here? Yeah, yeah, like they put the special comb, and it looks like they put a mirror there. That means that that belongs to that person that you love and is not with you anymore. Just like things that remind you of them. And then like, okay, yeah, you see the flowers there? These right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like something that you would give somebody you love, right? It's like that. Okay, thanks for letting me translate. Sure, Red Bear, anytime. Sweet calaveras, so sugary white. They give toothy smiles, but never a fright. I bet you can guess what calaveras is, right? Yes, deducing. Uh, okay, right here, it's the skulls. They're in their suite, so they've actually made little candies with them. See, that way it becomes fun and not scary, especially when you eat it. <laughs> okay, a black and white photo of Grandpa Padilla, who's riding on horseback, just like Pancho Villa, and toys are remembering small angelitos, a train, and a dollhouse are both favoritos. There's the train, there's the dollhouse, and there's their grandpa, their abuelo, Padilla. So they're doing an altar for their grandpa who has moved on to the other side. And in that way, they remember him and honor him with some of his things. Ooh. Uh, not that other side, but you, you, well, you know what I mean. Then, off to the graveyard. Okay, now you can come in. Ooh. Off to the graveyard, we, we head with ofrendas and colorful blankets to make 
meriendas. Oh, let's see what they're all. Bye. Like, can't wait. Hold on, I'm coming. Like, catch up. He's like, whoa, this bag is heavy, full of candles. And she's taking stuff to the cemetery. Here's the cemetery. Kids over here are like, oh, I'm proud of everybody. Okay, so they're going off to the cemetery. We carry inciencio and velas to burn. Candles are velas that will guide spirits back for their yearly return. Ah, so for one night, it's like you're calling them and saying, hey, we remember you. We love you. We're here to party with you. To keep you, see, like you're still part of the, the celebration of life, even in the afterlife. In the graveyard, they head with ofrendas. Ofrendas are offerings. Ofrendas, offerings. And colorful blankets to make meriendas. Meriendas are snacks, foods. So the blankets are basically to make a little picnic. See, in that way, you're having a, a picnic with their beloved ones. And bursts of calendulas, fragrant and bright, the color of sunset and gold candlelight. Ah, oh, flowers. A path of petalos. Petalos. Are we guessing what petalos is? <laughs> I'm guessing petales, petals, petals. That's right, flower petals will help lead our guests to pillows and blankets for taking a rest. Oh, see, so we're all just gonna hang out in the cemetery. It's all cool. He's, he's clipping some flowers for Anna. And then here, Miguel and I can't, Rosa. Miguel and Rosa. And here, Rosario. And see, they're cleaning. See, it's like they're cleaning their house for them, right? So this is where they rest now, where their body rests. And they clean it and make it pretty and they show that they love them and remember them and send them flowers. Above, we hang streamers of papel Picado. Those are these things that you see. I bet you've seen them before. I have. Papel picado. It's basically cut paper, right? That wave in the breeze like a rainbow pintado. Pintado, like a colorful rainbow. We giggle at paper cut banners we like. Esqueletos. Skeletons. Esqueletos riding a horse cart or a bike. Because that's just silly. I mean, everybody knows that, that they prefer the subway. We share in the foods that our guests love to eat. Fresh fruits and tamales, a holiday treat. Mmm, they're all wrapped up and ready to eat. And clay pots of grandmother's fresh chicken stew with mugs of atole, a chocolatey brew. So it's not quite like hot chocolate, but it's like a Mexican version of hot chocolate. It tastes a little bit different. To so see hers, is here's Paloma. No, Paloma is over here next to Rosario and they're laying out a blanket. What an interesting tradition, no? Does it creep you out? It doesn't really creep me out. I think it's just life and celebrating life and the afterlife all together. But everyone's favorite is sugary bread called pan de muerto with bones of the dead. Okay, not actual bones of the dead, just baked on, but no actual bones. I mean, then that would not be bread. That offers our travelers a much needed snack from the weary viaje that brought them all back. Ah, the travelers, they're talking about the people on the other side, from their, and they're weary from their viaje, from their trip that brought them back. See, because the whole thing is you're having them, you're inviting them to come back. It's all very symbolic and colorful and joyful. Then, after our lunch comes the part we love most, putting on makeup to dress like a ghost. Ooh, this is fun. Yeah, see, see, those masks those are very traditional Day of the Dead looks right there. Oh, good, good drawing, kid, good drawing. Oh, see, he's over there, he's a ghost, traditional ghost over here. And she's all, she's got her, her whole Mexican getup going on here and she's got her long braids and a colorful hat, music's playing. Whoa, festive, my eyes are exploding with all this color. In veils, in costumes, we join the parade. Although we wear huesos, huesos or bones, no one is afraid. Are you afraid, Doug? No, actually, I'm kind of cheerful. This is a very happy scene, I have to say. I, I didn't know that, that bones and skeletons and the afterlife could be so much fun. Yeah, see? It's a good way to celebrate. So see, we, got, we have the Virgin Mary here and got this little kid here in his stroller. And he's dressed up like a skull, so he's not scared. And look at all the people dressed up. Oh, we got the mariachi band here. Oh, that's fun. These guys, oh, I like this one with this halo. This is a good time. Wow, such a colorful book. Who is this? Eh, 
Pictures by Carles Ballesteros. Wow, I like your drawings, man. You're very colorful. Bringing this thing to life. Gilberto has scars and a special corona. Corona crown. Annabelle looks like the real Llorona. That's a character and she's crying all the time. Joaquin's Snow White Barba. What is that? Barba? Beard. Sweeps down to the floor while Luce looks like someone we've all seen before. Hey, one eyebrow. She's got her paints in her hand. The black hair is all up in a bun. Yep. She's dressed like Frida Kahlo, the Mexican artist. I read a book about her too. She's a fascinating lady. And just as the marigold clouds end the day, dancers and musicos come out to play. They wear special shells that go clickety clack to wake up espíritus, calling them back. Espíritus to wake up the spirits. See, they're all saying, come on, let's party. Ah. The night falls now. As candle flames glisten, our smiles are bright. Our ancestors know we are with them tonight. Uh, our ancestors know that we are with them. Seeing you light a flame and you play them songs and you have a feast at their side here at the cemetery and you talk to each other and to them on the other side and you celebrate them and you let them know that even though their spirit is only there and not their body, you have not forgotten them or stopped loving them. They return to their world without sadness or fear, knowing they'll stay in our hearts till next year. See, they even left some bread there for Juan with two cups of that Mexican hot chocolate. And Marta here, she had a lot of flowers marigolds I think Jose more flowers also and lots of candles around his place here you see and there the kids are going bye bye like bye this is a good time I love dancing in the cemetery with you me too Miranda we should do this every year we do <laughs> and then these guys are finishing up their song and they're like oh it's a good night should we keep on going why not and that is Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead. And it tells us here that it's celebrated on November 1st or 2nd in Mexico and other Latin American communities and countries. Although I think mostly it's, it originated, I'm pretty sure, out of Mexico. And the emphasis of this day is on the joy of life rather than the sadness of death. And some families build the altars at home while others visit cemeteries and hold picnics and spend time with departed souls. So, so it's a happy celebration. So, so you don't have to cry or be upset or anything. Well, I mean, you can if you want to, you know, I mean, I, I highly recommend it. I, I don't think I want to be sad. Oh, uh, do you think she's mad at me? No, oh, she's just mad at the world. Don't worry. Oh. Okay, can, can we celebrate Day of the Dead then? Oh yeah, what would you want to do? Do you want me to paint like a, a little skull face on your dinosaur face and, and, and maybe we can make some bread and play some music and put up photos of some of our beloved folks who have crossed over to the other side? Yes, I think that would make me happy thinking that I have made them happy too. I agree. All right, kid, enjoy this day and while you're living, live to the fullest. Oh, that's really good advice. Thanks. See you next time on Doug. Kid time, story time.